Hey everyone, today I'm going to start a new monthly series where I talk about one brand a month. Um, I want to focus on that brand and make sure that you guys see all the products I've gotten from it and what I love, and what I don't like if there is any. So this month I'm focusing on MAC because the month of May was really the month of MAC for me. I got a lot from MAC, fell in love with a lot from MAC, and just used a lot of MAC products. So I'm going to go through the different makeup products that I got and just some extra little items as well. So we'll start with the first thing I got this month and or really over the past couple of months. I got the MAC Brush Cleanser, which is really great for spot cleaning your brushes. I put mine in a little uh, spray bottle like this and I just squirt it directly on the brush, brush it on a paper towel and it's clean and ready for use for the day. So I do that every morning before I do my makeup so that I can have clean brushes and not spread a lot of bacteria around my face. Um, I also got MAC Fix Plus a while back. This is a great spray. I do have oily skin, so I don't use it as a makeup setting spray because it is very, very moisturizing. Um, but I use an oil-free moisturizer that can sometimes, for some reason, dry out my other patches on my face because I've got like weird, mostly oily, somewhat combination skin. And so I use this in place after I use the moisturizer just to get some of the areas that weren't so moisturized by my moisturizer. And it works really, really well. I also use it to like re-wet my beauty blenders when they're starting to get dry while I'm applying my makeup, simply so that I don't have any issues as I'm applying my foundation so it doesn't get dry and cakey. I also love the smell of it. It's absolutely amazing. It's like an aloe amazing smell, essentially. I love it. So I also got the Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I'll swatch it on my hand. I got this one because I have a really yellow base to my skin. I'm very golden. I'm pale, but golden. I do get red sensitive skin here and there from different items or things like that. But uh, the soft ochre was really the best bet for me to go under any eye makeup that I have because it's the best that cancels out my veins since I am quite yellow. So I'll go ahead and swatch that on the back of my hand. Um, it's difficult to see because it is blending pretty well with my skin tone, but that is what the soft ochre looks like on your skin. And this is a really great eyeshadow base or an eyeshadow to use on its own. I use it under my eyeshadows today just to kind of set them in place, gives them something to hold on to, and it lasts all day. And it makes it so that the eyeshadows don't crease. Um, I also picked up the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This one is in NW20. I use this under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose to kind of highlight my areas. Um, I really have been liking this. It's a really great creamy texture. I always have issues with creasing in general, so I wasn't expecting it to be crease free, but it doesn't crease as much. And I set it with a setting powder, which tends to really help minimize the creasing. And this is just like a really creamy texture. It comes with a pump, which I love. I'll pump a little bit on my hand. Try not to do too much. And so it comes out like this and just blends out really, really nicely. So that is something that I definitely recommend to get from MAC if you need like a good under eye concealer. And I like to apply mine um, with a beauty blender, the pointed end. I just kind of dab through because that is the best application really for any foundation product for me. So always the beauty blender and then I set with a powder either my Japanese uh, finishing powder or my Bare Minerals Well Rested um, Under Eye Brightener. And I use with just a little brush and set that concealer. Now, I got another uh, eye product, eye area product from MAC. I got the MAC Coal Power Eye Pencil in Feline. Just a basic matte black pencil. I use it to tight line a lot. Um, sometimes I'll use it as a base for my winged eyeliner or I'll use it to create like a really smudged look. Um, I like to like line it there, line it there, and then smudge it out. Kind of give you that second day makeup wear look. Um, this one swatched is very, very pigmented. Just plain black, really good, really, really smooth to use and easy, easy to blend out. All right. So then I got some lip products as well. I got the new Alluring Aquatic Line 2 products from it. Really wanted a good nude lipstick and lip liner. That's what I'm wearing right now so you can kind of get a look at it. This is the lip pencil in What Comes Naturally. It's just a nude lip pencil and this goes on like so, not that you're really able to see it, but that is it right there. Um, really great lip liner. I line it, and then I don't like too harsh of a lip liner look, so I blend it out with my pen, with my finger a little bit, just to kind of give it a softer look. In addition to that, I got one of the new 
lipsticks and this one is alluring Aqu or sorry no this one is from the alluring aquatic line and this one is siren song and it's a luster lipstick just your basic nude i don't even know if you'll be able to see it when i swatch it uh pretty difficult but it's just a nice kind of like shimmery color um it's very very pale because i don't like too nude of lips and i don't like to look too washed out my biggest mac purchase this month was i started building my palette this is a dual sided palette so i have a blush insert on one side and an eyeshadow insert on the other i have a six pot blush insert and a 15 pot eyeshadow insert and i've slowly but surely started filling up these babies we'll go ahead and start with the blushes first i have here my three blushes this is peaches which is a really nice coral color kind of similar to the benefit uh Georgia that they used to have it was discontinued but I absolutely loved it so I have peaches then I have Melba which is like one of the most popular MAC blushes ever invented essentially really creamy really nice um very creamy not necessarily but it blends out beautifully so Melba is definitely one that you'd want to invest in and then last I kind of have a nude blush from when I'm wearing more neutral looks and that is Cubic on to the eyeshadows. I have six eyeshadows from MAC. Um, I have Shroom here, which is a really great highlighter shade. I think it's like one of the most popular highlighter shades ever out of MAC. I have uh, Wedge. I also have Coquette. I have Omega. I have Copper Plate, and I have Satin Taupe. So really just a great neutral palette that I can use on a daily basis. I used it today to create a little bit of like a daytime kind of smoky look in my crease. So I wanted to start building a neutral palette. So I got these six. So far my favorite is going to be the Shroom. I also really like Wedge and I also really like Omega. Those are like kind of my go-to colors. I'm really big on mattes. I love matte eyeshadows. But I did get the satin taupe from when I want to create a more dimensional look, and satin taupe is beautiful. These eyelashes, god damn it. These eyelashes are super creamy, they're super pigmented, they don't crease. I like I said, put them over my paint pot and they create beautiful looks. I highly recommend investing in MAC eyeshadows. I'm going to be slowly but surely filling up my other nine pots. So that is all that I got from MAC this month. If there's any of your favorite MAC products, anything you guys think I should know about, please feel free to comment below. Um, I'll be doing another one of these next month, hopefully with another brand that everybody really likes. Um, I'll list all of the products down below and the prices so that you know exactly what they are. Thank thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow my blog. Thanks so much, guys.